Assets. Thank you for the group that's gathered here this evening, for Johnny Masters, our ex officio member. I pray for our chair, each member at this table, and for those in our uh, audience. Uh, pray for them. Help them get home safely after the uh, meetings today. Thank you for the recent rains. Thank you for all you do for us, Father. And for those that are in harm's way, I pray for them and their families, and those that might be ill today and needing help. Pray for them. Pray for our leaders. And Father, I pray you'll go with us now and help us do good work. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I'd like uh, approval of the June 14th regular session meeting. I move to be approved. Second. Do a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? <coughs> Moving on down to reports, we have the uh, management resources, Angela Drew. Angela, you're out of cookie bowl. Give <laughs> me here just a moment, Chair. Sure. We can move on down. Huh? <coughs> we'll move on down to real estate services, uh, Linda Donaldson. I don't know that she has anything to report, uh, but if she does, she should be here soon. She's Thank you, Joe. Now we're going to start here. No, she can't have four. There's Angela. Sorry, Angela. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, committee members. Um, you've got my report in your packet, so I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, and uh, not so much of a question, but I had a person that's needing some help with their driveway. Is there an application out now that, that we could send out? Yes, there is. Okay. Can, uh, can you email me one? Sure. Uh, and I'll just have her to fill it out. And, I guess the return address goes back to you, or do you know, is it on the application? Yes, it is. Okay, just email it to me and I'll print it off. Thank you. That's Larry. Eric Gallo? Thank you. Um, I know the federal building is not officially in our inventory, but you are maintaining it, and I don't see it in the report. Okay, we are, missed it. we are mowing the grass, but um, mm -hmm. the report that you see is a natural resources okay. grounds maintenance report. And facilities, we don't break not, it out. Okay, so yes, okay. yeah. So facilities is. Yeah, I didn't see Federal <coughs> Indian Hospital signage as a possible project of any form on there, and that needs to be added. At okay. least trying to get a plan and a bid. <coughs> Thank you. I know that is being worked on, Kara, and it may be rolled up as part of master planning, but we'll we'll break it out. Okay. Thank you. Councilman mm Crenton. -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Angela, yes, uh, the application on the driveways, could you email me one also, too, please? <coughs> sure. Um, two. And I'd just like to clarify, it's not an applet, it's not a driveway program. It is the Natural Resources Gadoogie mm -hmm. um, program, which applies to any type of project that a citizen and what it what it boils down to is usually we end up 
providing some sort of heavy equipment service and it's much more affordable for our citizens to just pay for what the fuel costs are for operating the equipment. So I don't want there to be any misinterpretation that we're running a driveway program because it's not that, but yes, I can get out that policy and the application to you. Councilman Barzi. Uh, Angela, I had another question. And yes, sir. Nothing comes. It's probably false in your department. I know Pat, <coughs> Pat Gwynn had told us about it. They were going to uh, set up a program to do this American Beetle uh, uh, observation, I guess is what I'm calling it. Now, for the roads program, do you know if that's moved forward? That's, that's a big problem with the roads program. I know that every what time we go through this stuff, we have to do the, uh, the Beetle preservation. What we are working on, Harley, and I think we talked about it briefly at the last meeting, we are trying to work on doing a um, project with the Wildlife Service where we set so much of our land aside, and that would come before you in the form of a resolution, to where we say we're not going to disturb X amount of acres. And um, it seems like I have brought that before you guys once already, but... Yeah. Um, I remember you doing. I'm just wondering if you got so, it set in place. So we're in the process. Okay. Okay. And what that will do is that will alleviate us. The agreement will negate us from having to do those for every right. project. Okay. Thank you. But I'll give you an update on okay. where we're at. Okay. Have any more questions? Or <coughs> Ready to do good comments for us? Uh, in facilities, we're just trying to stay ahead of keeping the grass mowed down with this weather that we're having. So um, we're just uh, work as usual. Good. Our gardens, I don't know if you've noticed our, uh, our heirloom garden out here, but it's doing great. And we have several others throughout the jurisdiction, whether it's uh, participants that are helping grow for us or whether we're doing it within our own natural resources staff, but we've already got some huge squash out of the garden and so the gardens are doing really good. We're having good success this year. So you're spraying some of the laces for weeds and thistle? Um, yes, through our noxious weed control program. That's the only weed control that we are funded to do. So yes, we are doing that and then any of additional type of controls than the lessee responsible for that. But that's one program that we are funded to help control with with the thistle on our agricultural units. Thank you, sir. The, uh, Angela, do you all have any trouble much with the little beetle they call it? It looks like about a third grown uh, June bug. They call them Japanese beetles. I have, I have heard Pat talk about that there are um, some Japanese beetle issues, but I haven't heard him speak specifically to which species that it's that we're having a problem with it on. But I can find that out from him to a see. A couple it years out. ago, I got some of those traps. It smells kind of like a magnolia blossom, which are really sweet. Uh huh. There's attraction in there. And I guarantee you, I called them beetles from probably the four counties surrounding my house because. There was beetles everywhere. Oh my so goodness. They just eat everything up, fruit trees, whatever. I'm going to assume that we haven't had a really bad problem because I haven't heard much about it, but I have heard him mention that, okay. that there are more of them this year. I just, I just wondering, we, I use seven dust on them. I don't know what else to you know, spray them with. And what are you using? What are you treating your. To spray? Just, I mean, just trees or your garden or well, what? They, they love the crepe myrtles. Any kind so of flowering, uh, Rose of Sharon. Okay. They, they like apple trees. Um, mm. Anything fruit, they like. Okay. They're, they're a problem. I just wanted to. Make, I haven't make. heard him mention anything specific. So, and I know from a facilities perspective, we haven't had any trouble with things just dying or yeah. having that problem. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you, sir. Any more questions for Linda? Linda's here now. Linda Donaldson. I'm going to ask we'll get more questions from Angela. Anybody? 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, you have my report. Do you have any questions? Any questions for Linda? We did go up to uh, No Water and um, bid on some property. So um, nine lots. We should be closing on August 4th on those. And that was the question I was going to ask. Well, where are those lots? Are they by the it's, it's adjoins park? the community building that we have there in South Coffeeville. Oh, okay. That's a lady what? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Have you had an opportunity to meet with Mr. Henry on our land? Not yet, right. and we do need to set up an appointment and get together with him on this. Okay. Hopefully within a week. Within a week. Maybe not okay. in this week, but by mid-next week. To keep moving in order to have adequate legislation and time for everybody to review it for next meeting. Okay. We'll talk to Todd about that. Okay. That's very efficient. Up. The half acre you were putting in trust out by CNI is that the old Gamble place? It's that right there at the intersection of 59 and 51. Uh, it was uh, vacant, so. It used to be an old house. Like it might have been. Uh, we bought it from Oil Marketing. Oh, and one other thing, you asked about the Sony property that is actually being worked on at the Bureau at this time. They are compiling their figures on that. Thank you very much. They finally got a forester to work on it. When you get some figures, would you let me know, please? We'll do that, Jody. Uh, the, the grandmother's dead, and the daughter now has breast cancer she's dying of. So I kind of like the they were going something. Yeah, we got word on Friday that they were working on it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any more questions for Linda? Linda, we thank you. Thank you. Moving on down to environmental programs, uh, Tom Elkins or his helper? Uh, I'll be reporting for Tom thank again. Uh, good afternoon, Chairman, Council Members. I don't have anything to add to what is in your packet, but if you got any questions or if there's anything that I can get answered for you, I'll be glad to do it. Do I have a question? Mr. Brother. Uh, Bobby, I've asked about, you know, our cook, hookup for the gas uh, stuff we got from the stimulus phones. Where, where is that? We're we going to do a... Uh, oh, the, the CNG? Yeah, CNG. <clears throat> that is tied in with the DOE funding that uh, was delayed uh, along with the uh, uh, environmentals that they had to do. Uh, we tried to get those environmentals done out of our office. Uh, they finally mm -hmm. got them done out of their office, their area office, and uh, now we're working to get the, uh, the funds uh, available for the CNG and the uh, uh, recycling facility. And that should be coming along pretty quick. So we're still going to do the hookup. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Do we have more questions for Bobby? <laughs> uh, thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Moving on down to uh, old business uh, here in Calvin. I make a motion to approve. Second. I've got a motion a second to approve uh, outfit or item number one in all business. So, uh, have any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion to approve. At this time, I'd like to amend the agenda to add an item uh, to authorize the, the principal chief to donate uh, any lumber that's left over that they got stacked at the uh, uh, ceremonial grounds that uh, the programs cannot use. 
and I put that in the form of a motion. Second. Motion made to second. Uh, in discussion, Karen. And this is the, to amend the agenda? Yes. And, and I would add as with my second, a friendly amendment to also include the two pesticide management grants, which Janelle Fulbright and I are both co sponsoring. Sounds good. These need to go to full council tonight. Yes, please. Yeah, those are, oh, yeah, those are all three have a sense of urgency. Good. I had a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Mm -hmm. And Carol, on your uh, resolutions here, did you make a motion? Are you ready for those at this time? Yeah. So we moved, we just amended the agenda. It was all we approved, right? Right. So there will so, be items three, four, and five. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if mine go before the lumber or not. It's up to you, Mr. Matter. Chair. Are you ready for the pesticide? No, we have number two. Yes, we have the pesticide. No, we have number two. We have two. We have business one and two. Yeah, we got new business one and two. Oh, yeah, new business. And then three, four, and five. You just let me know when you're ready. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, under new business, uh, I'll be the person a resolution authorizing the Cherokee Nation Office of Environmental Programs to submit a formal grant application to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for a grant field job training grant. I make a motion to be approved. Second. We got a motion to second. We're here, here in discussion. <coughs> All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Moving on down. Moving on down to item number two. Uh, Joe, you want to take that? Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this uh, this was a request by the Greasy Fire Department to uh, to utilize the uh, the building at the old old airport over there, Stillwell, and it's just been kind of not abandoned, but it's not been kept up very well, and the kids use it to drag race on the strip and stuff, and and so uh, when they approached us, we thought that it'd be good to have people going in and out there on official business might keep some of the vandalism and stuff down and plus they could use it to help them in their fire efforts protecting our people over there so anyhow that's what this is for um, it's a lease of a one acre tract CO CMS 8 for 10 years for one dollar a year it's by the Cherry Tree community and uh, I would move for approval I've got a motion to second any discussion Karen? I just wanted to clarify how any improvements would be handled. Um, do we need clarification on that? Because it sounds like there's a building, an existing building they're going to use. But I think just for legal reasons, we need to clarify the improvements for the property. I have no objections. I just, that's what I thought of when I read it. Mr. Chairman, I, I, I don't have an answer, uh, but Linda will, I think. Uh, if you Have you all discussed that, Linda? I believe the Greasy Fire Department is going to try to raise monies to do the improvements on the building. Uh, the building, to me, is not that functional, but they have reviewed it, and they believe that they can make it into a fire station. And uh, so it's going to be up to the Greasy Fire Department to do the improvements. No obligation to us then. That's right. Okay. And we would keep any improvements then. Right. I mean, there's no right. confusion about the pictures, it's attached ownership to the or anything. Okay. Right. That we, we just retain any improvements. All lines are clear and it right. doesn't need to be set out. Thank you. Good point. I think the lease huh? probably deals with that. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a motion second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Moving on down to uh, added amendments. Uh, well, okay. uh, I, I just now passed this out. The I had gotten a uh, a note 
from Mike Miller through the or from the chief through Mike Miller that said that uh, the stack of lumber that the a lot of the programs were going out and and recovering it and they were going to use it for uh, uh, non housing needs that the programs had uh, farms. Uh, uh, Sheds, those kinds of things that the programs obviously, I mean, maybe we could use it to build some whole barns to, to keep our lumber in. But anyway, the, uh, they are going to uh, utilize all of it that they possibly can. But some of it down at, toward the bottom is really bad. But it's not so bad that some of our citizens could not burn it for firewood. Uh, that some of them couldn't build dog houses out of it and stakes for surveying and I've had phone calls and emails out the kazoo, and you know, if they choose to to give it to a nonprofit and uh, or uh, you know, auction off, I just want to have it passed at full council so that rather than us even think of burning it again, that we have authorization for administration to give it away, and uh, that that's a second yeah. motion and now a second. I have a motion, a second, and any discussion? All in Mr. favor? Mr. Chairman, just yes. uh, thank you for the resolution, Councilman Baker. Uh, we had hoped to have, we've been working with various programs to uh, make sure that we found out all of our alternative uses. The rain kind of slowed down the programs from doing the sorting and, and storing and so forth. But, uh, so it's yet to be determined what the total percentage is going to be for the Usage, but we'll stay in touch with you. And if we do have unused lumber um, at the end of the day, we'll come back and report that to you. Yeah. But th this just gives an authorization to dispose of it, and we don't have to wait till another council meeting. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Carried. Do your resolution. Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion to approve both <coughs> resolutions and send them to full council. Motion. Motion. Ms. Motion. On, the motion. Motion. on the pesticide grants. On the pesticide grants. No discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. We're on down to announcements. Anybody have any announcements? Yes. Yes. Our donations and contributions subcommittee will be meeting at 4.30. 4.30. Uh, what day? Today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next scheduled meeting is August, Monday 16th at 4 p.m. Uh, here by the German. Oh, right. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay.